Hello everyone, welcome to our YouTube channel, My Project Ideas. Today we are going to make a C++ project on the topic Bank Management System. So without much delay, we'll begin. First, we'll see the requirements of this project. Firstly, we require an IDE or an integrated development environment for running and compiling the source code. Secondly, a text editor is required. You may use any text editor as per your choice, but the recommended ones are code blocks or VS code. Thirdly, you require an operating system. Again, it depends on you which operating system you want to go with. But the recommended ones are Windows 10 or any other latest version. So these were the requirements. Now we will be moving towards the code part, which is quite important. So first we have included all the header files. Then we have included the standard line that is using namespace std. Then we have a class named bank account. Under the class, we have certain data types like int AC energies acknowledgement or account number, you can say, character name, int deposit, character type. The character name is an array whose size is 50. That is the length of the array is 50. Then we have a public access specifier, which means these functions can be used throughout the code from the child class. Like, like we can inherit the properties. The child class can inherit the, all the properties from the parent class. So we have certain functions here, like the create account, show account, modify, draw, withdraw, deposit, report, uh, then the return type, the, the net deposit, the account number, all these functions are under the public access specifier. Then we will be describing each and every function individually. Now we have the function called create account. Let's see what this function has in hold for us. So here it will ask you to enter the account number. After entering the account number, it will ask you to enter the name of the account holder. Like the steps are being followed here. Like when you are creating a bank account, what, the, what does you need? Like what the user needs to input? Then it will ask you to enter the type of the account. Either it is current account or it, either it is savings account. Then it will ask you to enter the initial amount after which the account will be created. Next, we have the show account function. Here it will ask you to enter the account number and the account holder name. Then it will uh, show you the type of account and the balance account. All this stuff will be shown on the screen. Then we have the modify function. Here the account number will be modified. Like the account number will remain the same accordingly to the account number. If you want to modify the name of the account holder, then you can do that. You can modify the type of account. You can modify the balance amount as well. Then in the deposit function, uh, there is a parameter called int x through which if you deposit something, like if you add up something to your account, like uh, suppose you have 500 rupees and you are again adding 1000 rupees to it. So finally, what will be your net amount? It will be 1500 rupees. So that is the thing going on here. So deposit is equal to deposit plus x. Then uh, when you're withdrawing, what it will do? It will subtract the amount from the Deposit. So it will be deposit is equal to deposit minus x. Then we have this report, report function where it will uh, display your account number, the name, the type of the account and the deposit. Now let's move the next one. So here in the next function, your account number will be returned. In the next re return deposit function, your deposit will be returned and in return, type of function that means the which type of account you have so the type of the function will be returned or the type of the account will be returned then we have some other functions which are not under public it is write account display your uh, savings account and modify account delete account display all and deposit withdraw so here we have the main function in the main function we have all the information or all the option or functionalities available from which we can select one depending on our choice. Then we have a switch case. Depending on your choice, you will be driven towards that particular field or the particular function which we intend to do. Uh, we have here eight basic functions. Like all those functionalities in the bank like balance inquiry, uh, to show the account holders list, to close an account, modify, create, delete, all those stuff can you can do using this code. So again, in the right account, 
we have uh, uh, as you all know that we are using the file handling concept here so whatever transactions whatever modifications whatever input out entry exit whatever you are going to do all will be stored in a temporary file named account.dat so this is a data file actually so whatever you are going to do whatever modification transaction you are going to do all things will be stored there then in the display function it will display you the balance details again if the file which you we are working on if due to any sort it can't be opened then it will display that sorry this file cannot be opened in the modify account again you can enter the details of the account you can uh, modify whatever uh, either you want to modify the account holder's name his current savings or current balance type everything can be modified then in the delete account you can directly delete the account from the bank's database or from the user's database then see what you need to do is when you're deleting something you need to have a backup like uh, when you are deleting pictures from your phone it is somewhat stored in the recycle bin for 30 days so when you are deleting something you need to have a backup like in future you may require that you never know that's why we have another file named temporary.dat whatever you are deleting it is going to be stored in temporary.dat and if you want to retrieve it at some point of time you can then we have the display all function in which all the functionalities or all the whatever and you have entered or whatever is stored in the bank's database can be displayed to the user then in deposit withdraw or whatever you are depositing or what price you are withdrawing what money you are withdrawing all the transactions can be visualized and if the balance will be like if you want to deposit something so you will be driven towards the deposit function and if you have to withdraw something like if the withdrawal amount will be more than the savings account or whatever you have in your savings so that it will display that sorry insufficient balance like suppose you have rupees 5000 in your bank account and due to some urgency you require 10000 so you can't withdraw because you have some insufficient funds and if the record the account number is not found that will display that sorry the record has not been found so i hope you understood the working of this code now we'll be proceeding towards the practical implementation so this is your code i'll try running it so see this code will run right now we are trying to run it So here we can see that we have this bank management system, main menu, new account, deposit account, all those eight functionalities are there. I go for one. So it will ask me to enter the account number. I entered one, two, three, four. Name of the account holder, it's Simran. Type of account, I have a savings account. My initial amount is 10,000. So the account has been created. So I press on enter. Now I want to see if my account is created or not see one two three four simran and i have savings account with a balance of ten thousand then i want to deposit something so my account number is one two three four so what amount i want to deposit i want to deposit five thousand so the record has been updated so now i have to withdraw something so account number is one two three four See, now, now my balance amount is 15,000 because already I had 5,000. I deposited 5,000. So, suppose I want to withdraw 18,000 rupees. So, see, it is a string insufficient balance. Now, again, I want to withdraw something. See, I will click on 1, 2, 3, 4. Then I want to withdraw, suppose, 10,000 rupees. So, the record has been updated. Now, let me have the balance inquiry. My account number is 1, 2, 3, 4. And see, so now my current account, uh, current amount is 5,000. Then if I want to modify, so just see, let me modify. Account holder name will be Simran Patnayak. Okay. Modify the type of account. My account is savings only. Balance is, uh, let me tell it, 10,000. The record has been updated. So now I'll have the balance inquiry again. So my account is one, two, three, four, account number. So see, my account has been modified. 
Now I'll click on eight to exit. So my code has been exited. So I hope you understood the working of this code. For more interesting project ideas, stay tuned. Thank you and have a great day.